I'd like to go over a typical workflow that you'd follow if uh, you're using AutoCAD to manage CAD files and you want to be able to upload them to Field Genius for Android for stakeout and further survey work. So here I've got a highway plan drawing and uh, what I want to go through is as a first step, what you want to do is take advantage of the power of layers with your AutoCAD program and clean up the drawing so that you're removing things that aren't going to be useful in the field. So we've got things like labels, we've got uh, lines marking, um, indicating key points on the drawing and all these kinds of things. And because these are labels, you don't want them to be out in the field because that's not something that you're ever going to be staking out or anything. And, and the text labels aren't going to give you as useful information as they do when you're looking at them in a CAD program. So if you go over to the home ribbon, then you can use the freeze button here and uh, just pick on examples of items that you'd like to freeze in the drawing. And that'll just kind of quickly tidy things up. Now I'm at a point where now I see mostly just the types of line work that I am going to be dealing with when I'm doing my field work. Okay, that looks pretty clean. And, and sometimes what you'd want to do is actually uh, store a backup copy of this. Now, the next thing we want to do is we could send this whole thing to the field, but for a larger project, it's a better idea to keep your CAD file here and then just block out uh, the parts of the drawing that you want to send to the field. So I'll hit escape here so that we're not doing uh, freezing anymore. And let's imagine that we just want to do some work on the west side of this job. So we're going to write out a block. And so I'll use the command W block and we hit enter. And this allows us to define the block that we're going to create. Um, I would like to leave the origin at zero. That way, if this is a georeference drawing, then it'll load right into Field Genius and you won't have to make any shifts. And uh, we're going to use the option to select objects to define a block. So let me do that first. And here I'm just going to window in just the west end of the job. If I do a right to left, it'll only window in the entities that it touches. And I hit enter when I'm done. So we've defined our block. And then the next thing that we want to do is down here, we have to uh, set the location and the name and the properties of the block. So uh, if you know what your units are, you can leave that specified here because Field Genius for Android will use it if you need to do a transformation. And this one happens to be international feed. And this is the important step here. We pick on the ellipsis button here and here I want to create it in my downloads folder. And here I'll just call, let's have a look at the date here. It was December 15. 2022 field work. So that'll be the file that we're going to use in Field Genius for Android. And another really important thing is you need to specify it as a DXF file. And I recommend just using the release 12 format because that's a basic one that uh, strips out any advanced entities. Now, when I pick save, we're going to watch for any uh, messages in the command line. And I'll say OK. All right, so we do get a warning that there are proxy entities in this drawing, and that makes sense because in here we've actually got an alignment that defines the center line of the stretch of road. That's okay um, because if, if you do actually need to also export that alignment, you can export it as an XML file. So I'll just close that message. And now if I go into the background here, or I'll drop AutoCAD out of the way, and we can see Here's the file that I just created. Now, the other thing that I've done is over here in Chrome, I have signed into my, my uh, Gmail account and I've created a folder called DXF demo data on my Google Drive. Now, all I have to do to send it to my data collector is grab that DXF and drop it over on the drive. So that will be uploading. So it's currently being uploaded to my Google account on my desktop. And when I turn on my uh, data collector and uh, refresh the Google Drive, then we'll find that that file is there as well and is ready to be imported into Field Genius. So 
Now I'm showing you the view of my data collector where I'm running Field Genius for Android. And what I'm going to do is create a new job while the uh, Google Drive synchronizes. So we're going to go to New Project. And we'll give it a name. I'll just call it Fieldwork. Now this project I know to be international feed, so I want it to match my CAD file, but as I was mentioning before, we could change it if we need it. The coordinate system, because this is a georeference drawing, I just need to define the same coordinate system as we used in, uh, in the uh, CAD file. And so this one happens to be a Wisconsin drawing and the Wisconsin uh, low distortion systems are in the U United States Others Coordinate System group, and it's the Brown Wisconsin system. So I'll just scroll through here and pick on that system. So that's loaded up for vertical. Um, very often you'd want to go to the catalog and download a geoid, but I won't do that in this demo. And I won't worry about defining a code list or a feature list, although that's something you could do later on. Here, I'll create the job. Now, next thing that I want to do is I'm going to do import. And I'm going to import to the DXF file that we've just created as an XREF, and I'll show you the advantages of that later on. So we're going to tell it we're going to import a DXF. Now I'm going to browse, browse into my Google Drive. And I'm going to go into that FGA tests folder. And my DXF demo data. And there's the DXF file that we just created on my desktop. I'll select that. And there's a little pause while it reads the file. And the file has been stored. Um, and it's uh, just asking you for you to confirm what the units are of the native file. And then we've got a choice of either doing an import that you can see over on the right or an attach as XREF. And in this case, I want to attach as XREF. And that's partly to declutter my work when I'm in the field. And it's also because it allows me to reuse this file in multiple projects. So if I go over to survey, currently I don't see anything. But what I need to do is switch over to my XREF data and tell it that I can attach this file. And if I pick on the plus here, we can actually see all the different layers that are defined. And I think right now it's already set as ready to go. So if I pick on the zoom extents, yep, there we go. So it takes us right in there. So we can see that it's uh, showing you the colors of the line work and everything and everything's on um, I can use the eyeball icon if I want to freeze different layers now another important thing to note is because this is an XREF right now the file is shown as kind of a background image on top of the uh, streaming imagery and if I for example wanted to stake out this polyline what I'd actually need to do is pick on it and I'd have to tell Field Genius to add this uh, line to the database. And it'll add a line and it'll also create point numbers as you go. So there, now you can see that that seg line segment is in this job. And if I actually want to go into my DXFs and uh, tell it to hide this one, then I have effectively decluttered the work or the drawing and I can do my work with that line and later on I might want to view it again to see things in context. Okay now we're ready to start working with this DXF file and we've also got it loaded in the background for highly efficient trading between projects. Thanks for watching this video.